6th September 2019, Dr. K. Sivan and many other ISRO scientists cried their heart out as they lost contact with Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 2 was supposed to be soft landed on the lunar surface, but unfortunately, it crashed. Whole India prayed for this mission to be successful, but it simply didn't happen. There are only three countries who have successfully soft landed on the moon America, Russia, and China. India was about to become the fourth one and be the member of the list, but it failed. But at last, we are Indians who didn't give up on British rule and fought with greater resilience, then why would we give up on space missions? Although Chandrayaan 2 was a failure, but the story continues. Three months ago, India's ambitious attempt at making space history ended when its scientists lost communication with the Chandrayaan 2 spacecraft. Nitin Srivastava uh, joins us now from Delhi. Hey Nitin, good to have you with us. I was going to ask you how much it cost, but I just read, so 145 million bucks. What does is, what is India hope to get out of this? country that has extreme poverty, I think more than 700 million Indians don't have access to a toilet, toilet. From transporting the parts of rockets and satellites on bicycles and bullock carts to reaching Mars in its very first attempt, ISRO has come a long way. In 1950s, as the USA and Soviet Union entered the famous space race, two great scientists, Dr. Homi Baba and Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, started the Indian space journey. In 1962, Indian National Committee for Space Research, INCOSPAR, was established with Dr. Sarabhai as its first chairperson. On 15th August 1969, INCOSPAR grew and became ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Believe me, ISRO's early days were not so golden and full of struggles. We've even been trolled for our low budget and high ambitions. Watch this cartoon. 28 September 2014, this cartoon was printed in New York Times newspaper, which shows how an Indian farmer with a cow is trying to enter an elite space club, where inside two men are reading about India's Mars mission. This article is titled as India's Budget Mission to Mars. Well, this cartoon was criticized on a large level because this cartoon showed how poor Indians were trying to establish a space program. Eventually, New York Times had to apologize for what they did. We all know India got its independence in 1947 and establishing in Inkospar by 1962, just 15 years, is not so easy. Chandrayaan is one of the hardest missions dreamt by Indian scientists. In this video, we'll see the journey of a small but significant aspect of ISRO in the space realm. What challenges did India face while conducting the Chandrayaan missions? Why is Chandrayaan mission important to India? And how India is about to register its name in the books of space history? All over the world, there are 77 government space agencies and only 11 countries have successfully conducted moon missions. But only 3 countries were able to soft land on moon's surface. America, Russia and China. Although the distance between Mars and Earth is more than the distance between Moon and Earth, fascinatingly, in those five countries which successfully conducted Mars missions, two were able to soft land on Mars' surface. Which means the landing success rate for Mars is 40% while on the moon, it is only 27%. This is because the distance between the moon and earth is so less that even a single degree of change in path towards moon can cause a huge failure in landing the spacecraft on moon's surface. It becomes even more difficult if the spacecraft is not landed on moon's surface in the calculated time frame. Basically, the time of spacecraft landing is estimated on the basis of the speed of spacecraft. Suppose the spacecraft's speed is 20,000 km per hour, then it only gets 15 to 30 minutes of landing window. And if it doesn't land in that 15 to 30 minutes window, the spacecraft will definitely crash. This is not the only challenge in soft landing the spacecraft on lunar surface. Because even if the landing process is started in that 15 to 30 minute time frame, other things may also create obstacles in landing, like the atmosphere of the landing site. See, Mars has an atmosphere that creates friction and slows down the speed of the lander. And that's the reason that on Mars, parachute can also be used along with the thrusters to slow down its speed. But because there is no atmosphere on Moon, the total load of landing comes on the thrusters. And these thrusters create problem in landing. As the extra powerful thrusters come close in range with lunar surface, the dust particles present in the loose soil of Moon gets unstable and can cause problems in the 
sensitive sensors that are present on the spacecraft. Coming back to Chandrayaan missions, Chandrayaan 1's major objective was to study the surface of the moon by not landing on it but by orbiting around it. Yes, Chandrayaan 1 was an orbital mission. It was not supposed to soft land on the moon's surface. The mission was successful as it achieved the 95% of its primary objectives. Also, Chandrayaan 1 was responsible for finding water on the surface of the moon. But for a catch, did you know that the moon is in one-sided relationship with Earth? It is tidally locked to the earth. What I mean to say here is, only one side of the moon is visible to earth while the other side of the moon is always hidden from the earth. Only 59% of the moon is visible from the earth. Now, the fascinating thing is, temperature on the bright side of the moon goes up to 120 degrees Celsius and on the dark side of the moon, it goes up to minus 130 degrees Celsius. In south pole of the moon, there are larger craters where sunlight never reaches, which means water there never evaporates. Evaporates. These water and other molecules present there in those craters are as old as the formation of the moon. Hence, if we study those molecules, we can study the origins of our solar system. It is estimated that in those craters, there may be more than 100 million tons of water. And at the same time, there are availability of essential elements like hydrogen, ammonia, methane, sodium, silver and mercury on the surface of the moon. And this is why India is attempting to land on the totally untouched and unexplored area by humans in the history, that is the South Pole of the Moon. No country has ever landed in that area of the Moon. And interestingly, that is the only area on the Moon which may provide data about the origins of our solar system. Chandrayaan 2 was also missioned to land on the South Pole of the Moon, but unfortunately, it failed. The Chandrayaan 2 spacecraft consisted of three main components, its orbiter, its lander and its rover. The orbiter was supposed to orbit around the moon and provide the data to Indian scientists on the Earth. And for your information, Chandrayaan 2's orbiter is still orbiting around the moon and providing data to Indian scientists. Hence, ISRO didn't include an another orbiter in Chandrayaan 3. On the other hand, lander, which was named as Vikram, was supposed to soft land on moon, but unfortunately it crashed due Due to a software glitch and Pragyan that is the rover which was carried by lander also failed. Now ISRO is looking forward to rectify all the mistakes they made and try to continue the mission with the help of Chandrayaan 3. Always remember failures are the tinier steps towards success and Chandrayaan 3 is trying to land on the south pole of the moon which according to the study I have done is way more difficult. As we all know moon takes 28 days to complete one rotation around the earth. This causes the temperature of the sun facing side of moon to rise up to 120 degrees Celsius, that too for a two weeks time period. And as I said earlier, the darker side of the moon can get cold up to minus 130 degrees Celsius. Now this type of temperature creates a fusion near the south pole of the moon making it extremely unstable. And in these conditions, if the lander of Chandrayaan 3 lands with a large impact or in a high speed, it can even generate a thermal shock and destroy the lander completely. Not not only this, even if ISRO lands the lander on the south pole of the moon, as I said earlier, there's no sunlight present in that area of the moon. Then how will the solar panels of lander work? Now, these all problems like sudden landing of lander can create a thermal shock, absence of sunlight causing the dysfunction of solar panels on lander and dust particles of the moon entering the delicate sensors of the spacecraft can cause this mission to fail. But worry not, ISRO scientists have prepared some unique strategies strategies which may tackle these dangerous problems. To tackle the soft landing difficulties, ISRO scientists have found a unique spot to land the lander. Luckily, there are no craters, mountains, uneven surface and no unbalanced temperature near the landing site of Chandrayaan-3. Also, on 14 July, when Chandrayaan-3 was launched, it first revolved around the Earth's orbit for 5 rounds. For creation of correct motion and speed and to avoid crash down directly to the moon. Also, this process will save a lot of fuel which can later be utilized in landing process. And after that, when it is time to land on moon, it will not land directly because it can destroy the delicate sensors. Instead, Chandrayaan-3 will take an extra round around the moon to decrease its speed and to scan the site of landing for any potential dangers. And with these two steps, that is, an extra round around moon and per
perfect landing spot, it will avoid soft landing failures. Now, talking about the lack of sunlight and signal, Chandrayaan 3's lander will be landed on a site where there is enough light present and the exploration process will be carried by its rover, not its lander. By this step, the lander can easily send signals to rover in the darker regions of the moon. And finally, this is how Chandrayaan 3 is going to tackle its obstacles and register India's and ISRO's name in the books of space history. This mission is a special mission as it is attempting to land on the south pole of the moon and no country has ever landed there. Chandrayaan 3's lander is supposed to land on 23rd or 24th of August 2023 and if it does, India will be the first country to land and explore the south pole of the moon and to study the origins of solar system more deeply. In the end, I'd like to say water is an important source for humanity and if it strikes you that are we running out of clean water on earth, go check out our research based video on it and do not forget to subscribe with those for content that makes you smarter.